Hey, Master Gardeners, I'm standing on the roadsides here in the Hartford County, Baltimore County region, and I found this compound leaf tree that kind of looks like a hickory, but it's not. But look at this, palmately veined, five leaflets. What is it? It's a native buckeye tree, a sweet buckeye, or also called yellow buckeye, not one that's commonly found. It tends to be native to bottomlands and along the streams. And here I am along a very wet region in where it's down in sort of the drainage ditches and it's all along this country road in here. So come on and take a look. It's in bloom right now, which is what caught my fascination. It makes six inch tall, pretty little panicles of flowers. And then look at the diameter of this guy. Here it is behind me. Really large, smooth gray bark. It's even starting to exfoliate. Here's the smaller one you can see. It's opposite. Remember when you've studied native plants and you've studied mad buck as one of the acronyms to learn our opposite leaf plants? M being maples, A being ashes, D being dogwoods, and then we say mad buck and buck being the buckeye, which is what this is. So Aeschylus flava is the name of the genus. It previously had a different name, but come on over. Let's take a look at this big guy. All your buckeyes are poisonous trees. They're poisonous foliage, poisonous roots, poisonous fruits. And the Aeschylus name comes from the fact that it makes a somewhat of a, a acorn style fruit. And even as children, I, they were in my neighborhood and we would slide them into our pockets and we'd carry them around. And the native Indians were also known to consume the buckeyes. They knew how to roast them because they have saponins in them that can cause a toxicity so we don't eat them typically. Keep them away from your goats and livestock. But the Indians had found ways to roast them and to boil them and things. But there's the flower. Let me move it in a little closer. Pretty little. As Michael Durr says, this is one of the most outstanding Aeschylus species and some of the most beautiful flowers. There are different species that make that are more clump forming and whereas this one tends to be more of a tree, so this is our largest one. This is not a tree for putting in your backyard because all of the buckeyes tend to be a little bit messy. They have a lot of litter that drops and because they're such large plants, as you can see by the diameter of this big guy, very large plant, you see my hand in there, exfoliating bark. As you can see by this, it would not be one that you would want in your yard because of its large size. Charles hummingbirds, because of these pretty little decorative flowers, if I were on the sunny side, you might see the flowers a little bit better, but draws um, butterflies, pollinators, squirrels eat the fruit. So super big, special native, Aeschylus flavor. How about that?